She a rider that she's sticking with me to the end. She was there since the beginning, so I'll never switch. I told her we gon' make it to the top, and when we get up there, I'm not gon' stop loving her. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome so I'm gonna show y'all how I go from one protective style to another so when you're wearing a protective style you always want to make sure that your scalp is oiled or moisturized or whatever you want to make sure your hair is clean for one and you also want to make sure that your ends are maintained and tucked away the thing about my hair it's about um, shoulder length when it's blow dried and stretched and i also have medium porosity basically means that my hair cuticle or my hair shaft is like partially opened so like when i moisturize i can go at least three days without moisturizing I took my ponytail out I just went ahead and went to the tub and wet my hair up I'm just gonna split my hair into four sections for my deep conditioner I'm using this uh what is it this OGX thick and full biotin and collagen conditioner so like since my hair is since my hair is medium porosity and like my hair it dries kind of quick I take my spray bottle, spray it on my hair because I found out that my hair like takes product better when it's wet. I probably don't need to like soak it. So I take more than a dime size amount of conditioner and I just I run it through. I see that definition though. Here's the shedding that I got. My hair has been in a ponytail for about three days. So oh, here are my curls after I have drenched my hair and soaked it down with conditioner and like I really wish y'all could feel this like oh. now I'm about to put my hair up in a little struggle bun but uh <laughs> here is my struggle bun and now I'm taking this plastic bag because um who has time to buy those expensive like little deep conditioning cap a plastic bag works just fine for me put my plastic bag on my head i aim to trap in as much heat as possible so i take like three or four bonnets and put it on my head just so I can trap in the heat. This one, this one I don't even wear. Like I just wear it so I can deep condition. And three. And then so I can keep the heat in there. I take this scarf and I tie it around. I tie it around so I can get the maximum amount of insulation. I don't want any heat to escape. So the product can penetrate my hair and I can have the most moisture in the whole world. I usually leave this in for like 10, 15 minutes. It all depends on like what I'm doing. But right now I'm really just watching uh, a gaming stream right now of Resident Evil. So... I won't be back. Okay, so I'm back. I went and ate something and watched some more of my stream. So I'm about to take this off and show y'all 
how beautiful this conditioner makes my curls like the first time I used this I was in love this is now my go-to deep conditioner I'm not sure if it's like made to be a deep conditioner I just use regular conditioners as deep conditioners I mean what's the difference really? so I'm about to go wash this out and then I'm gonna start breaking out the conditioner and like you can see that you know, there's a noticeable difference from before I deep before I deep condition and after so like it's so like before you do your protective style deep conditioning is a really really vital step if you want to keep your hair moisturized so when I rinsed out my conditioner I use cold water so I can close up the hair cuticle and keep my moisture in my hair so now I'm about to start braiding my hair I always start by parting down the middle So I make sure I section this off and I'm spraying my whole like side of my head. In this video, y'all gonna see that like I put a lot, I guess a lot of products in my hair just because I want maximum moisture i do not want my hair to get dry at all while it's up under my wig even though i had the opportunity to like spray water in my hair put oil in it but just to have that moisture locked in initially i just like that feeling first i'm using this raw shea butter extra moisture detangler with sea kelp and argan oil and it's shea moisture I don't use I don't really use this to like detangle my hair I really just use it for like you know like what's in it like the properties cuz this has it has sea kelp in it and it has argan oil and organic shea butter it says that the sea kelp is mineral rich and it um it seals and smooths the cuticle and the argan oil restores shine while helping to promote hair elasticity and the organic shea butter deeply moisturizes while conditioning the scalp so like really i'm not using this as a detangler i'm using it to moisturize my hair so i just take that and i make sure i run it through my hair and i make sure i just get all of it i'm trying to get every single strand i'm trying to get all these little cuticles in here because i want a ton of moisture i'm using this shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curl um curl enhancing smoothie i'm sure a lot of naturals know what this is so like the good stuff that's in it, coconut oil which hydrates and protects while reducing frizz, silk protein which smooths the hair for a soft silky feel, and finally neem oil which controls frizz while adding bright shine. So sometimes like when I'm when I'm alternating hairstyles, I normally don't use heat. So like after I take my wig off, I'll unbraid my hair and wear it as a braid out. So, like, this Curl Enhancing Smoothie is really going to help, like, create some definition so I can then wear a braid out after taking my wig off. I'm just using this extra virgin olive oil from um, Walmart to seal my hair because we all know that oils are sealants. So, like, after you do your leave-ins and everything, you want to make sure that you put... You want to make sure that you put an oil on top of it so you can keep that moisture in your hair so like y'all see how like beautiful and i was gonna say luxurious but <laughs> that's not a way to describe hair but like you can see this side i've moisturized it and this side which isn't moisturized sorry i do i can't <laughs> teach y'all how to braid hair i i learned from my mom all i can say is 
um, get somebody to teach you and then practice on somebody else's head because that's how I learned. I practiced on my mom's head first and then when I felt comfortable, I started doing, I started like braiding my own head. So like I got, so luckily I had been like attempting to like braid my hair and like practicing braids, like practicing doing cornrows for about like a year and a half. And like when I finally got good at it, I like went, I went to college and I was able to braid my own hair down when I started wearing wigs. So like, you know, if you, if you in high school and you getting close to graduating, you don't know how to cornrow your own hair, I really suggest that you learn now. So last and final product I put in my hair is this uh, Eco Styler Crystal. And this just, to me, I mean, I'm a weirdo. Like, when I take my wig off, I don't like to see my cornrows looking a hot mess. Because, like, before I started using gel on my braids, it was like, I was looking like somebody's little brother, like, two days after I braided my hair. So, like, the fact that I put all these products in it and then I put the gel on top... It just really helps with preserving my braids and keeping them looking good. Even though, like, even though nobody's going to see them, I still like the satisfaction of having some good looking cornrows up under my wig. some of this eco styler and I smooth it on my head and sometimes I do my edges I'm not really like an edges kind of person unless I'm doing a slick ponytail but I just take that eco styler and I put it on my head again and then I take my scarf and I put it on here so I can lay my hair down so my braids will last longer. Like after I finish this, sometimes I just go and put a wig on right away, but I'm not doing nothing else today. So like at this point, I would just leave my scarf on and like do whatever I need to do. I got homework, I got a test tomorrow. So yeah. This is a really quick and easy way you can make sure you have the maximum amount of moisture that you need for your hair. And the plus, it's low manipulation. Well, it's little to no manipulation. And this will hold me until, you know, at the end of the week when it's time for me to take them down, deep condition, and start all over again. Hope y'all like this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And all my social media will be down in the description box along with other videos that I previously uploaded. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'll see y'all in my next video.